You know our next guest from movies like The Social Network in Zombieland. Now Jesse Eisenberg is starring in the miniseries Fleischman is in Trouble. Let's take a look at a clip. Can I get Instagram? Everyone has it. No, we've answered this before. No social media until you're 13. Everyone. Hannah, you don't even have a phone. It's not good for kids and anxiety. Your brain is still developing, Dad all right? Dad and I will talk about it. Excuse me. We've already talked about it, okay? How about my anxiety that everybody is always on it and leaving me out? She has a point. Yeah. Just can't win. Jesse, good morning to <laughs> yeah. you, my friend. Good morning to Thank you, you for being here, man. And, and, and this this is based off a, a novel of the same name. Went on to become a New York Times bestseller. Yeah. But I heard you almost didn't read it because of a misunderstanding. What was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I heard um, the brilliant writer, her name is uh, Taffy Brodesser Ackner. I heard her on these podcasts that I listened to talking about her book. This was like, you know, three years ago, two years ago. And... Um, uh, it sounded amazing, so I bought the book, and then I heard some other, you know, review or something about it, and it described the book as what I thought was like a book about um, celebrity culture. I misunderstood it; it's not about celebrity culture, but Taffy is like the great chronicler of celebrities for uh, the New York Times Magazine, and so I put the book down because I have a, a, you know, a phobia of reading about anything in my field, just based on, you know, irrational, uh, uh, you know, insecurity. So um, anyway, I put the book down. Then they said, you know, you should read the script; they're making a TV show, and I said. Oh, oh, I thought that was about, and they said, no, you're wrong. Stop being scared of everything. And I read the script and loved it, and then read the book. Stop being scared of, of everything. Yeah. And, and in, this, in this show, you and Claire Dane, Claire Dane is your co-star, you have a tumultuous, like, complex relationship, excuse yes. me, yeah. um, as a married couple. But I heard Offset, you, you bonded in a special way, including, like, dodgeball. Yes, we did, like, a kind of unusual rehearsal process. So we're playing, like, a married couple. We're married for, you know, uh, 15 years and then go through this horrible divorce and so one of the kind of unusual things we did to kind of just get into the spirit of this you know uh, tumultuous relationship was yes play a game of dodgeball we have like a very like contentious relationship but like I don't I did not want to have like a contentious you know game of dodgeball because you know <laughs> Physical. Hurt. Yes, it can hurt and hurt. Yeah, it can hurt. But, you know, um, it was kind of helpful. Like as an actor, you do all sorts, all sorts of like weird, you know, um, inexplicable things. And sometimes it can be helpful in some, you know, strange ways. And you say you're most comfortable playing the anti-hero. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Like this show, it starts off from like my perspective and you think it's like the story of this like kind of, you know, put upon guy whose wife disappears in the show. My wife, who Claire Danes plays, like disappears, drops the kids off and I can't find her. And you know, you think it's a story of like this kind of put upon sympathetic guy. But as the story goes on, you realize actually from her perspective, um, he's not what the audience initially thinks of. Yeah, I feel kind of most comfortable in that mode just because I don't know why. I guess, you know, as an actor, it's kind of more interesting usually to play the kind of, you know, darker characters. But also, I guess I have all this guilt around having such a nice, cushy job that I think maybe I offset some of that guilt by playing a character that no one likes. <laughs> and, and in real life, you're, you're married, happily married in real life. And I heard that your, your, your wife gave you some great advice when it comes to choosing which roles you should take. Yeah, especially like with this show, my wife loved it because she's like, you know, in so many stories, like men are seen as like sympathetic and like pitiable just for doing like norm normal domestic things. <laughs> like you see a guy washing the dishes and you're like, you think like, what an amazing guy. And my <laughs> wife told me like, that is absurd and you should, you know, push back against that. And that's what this show does so well. Like y you think that as an audience, like what an amazing guy, you know, just watching his kids for an hour, you know, which is not something you'd ever think of you yeah. know, if a woman was doing it. And that's what the show kind of pushes is back on as well. I love that. I love her yeah. advice. Yeah. Yes, she was correct. And, you know, she loves the show for that reason. You know, it really kind of uh, in some ways like pulls the rug out from under the audience and shows the other perspective. Well, the show is fantastic. You're fantastic. Thank you for coming back. Thank you so much. GMA Michael. with us. And uh, FX's Fleischman is in trouble. It is streaming now on Hulu. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.